Last week, we talked about capitalization rules when it comes to sentences and quotations. But what do you do with names? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, it's all about capitalization ng names, titles, kasama na rin yung mga nicknames. Kailan kinakapitalize ang mom, kailan hindi. It's the same word, pero minsan, capital siya, minsan hindi, ano ang tamang gagawin. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. And just a quick little plug, if you want to reach out to me directly, find out how to get the reviewers and books that I made, join the online or library events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. And if you want to get the merch that we have to help support this channel and what I do, you can go to shop.teamlika.com to check out yung mga shirt designs, hoodie designs, caps, and stuff that we have there for you. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my pieces so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating second video sa series natin on capitalization rules. Last time, pinag-usapan natin yung rules when it comes to capitalizing the first word of a sentence, which is sa lahat ng sentences, dapat i-capitalize. And then yung quotation, which is kung buong sentence yung quotation, you will capitalize it. Kung hindi, hindi. If you haven't seen that video yet, I can't stress this enough. Go ahead and watch that video first. Ililink ko lang din dito sa i button. Ngayon, we're going to talk about capitalizing names. Uh, when we deal with proper nouns, yung positions or titles nila, and then yung pet names natin tinatawag or nicknames. Ano yung mga rules governing this? Okay? Now, when it comes to capitalizing names, there are certain rules that you have to memorize and meron din mga ilang, uh, ilang exceptions. Okay? So, hihimayin natin isa-isa. First one, you have to capitalize all names when it comes to yung proper name ng isang tao. So, first name, middle name, last name, ikakapitalize siya. Okay? So, for example, here, sabi sa sentence, I told Joey Jimenez that the resident cardiologist, Dr. Martinez, took good care of grandma. So, ano-ano yung mga makikita natin na proper nouns dito or names? First, we have yung Joey. Okay? So, yung Joey, dapat capital yan. Jimenez, last name yan. So, dapat capital din siya. And then, if you notice, si Dr. Martinez, ang Martinez is last name. So, dapat capital din siya. Wala naman ng ibang mga proper nouns uh, dito sa sentence na ito. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun ay wala na tayong ibang ikakapitalize. Okay? Ano pa yung pwede nating ikapitalize? We have titles or yung positions, jobs. Now, ano ang rule pagdating dito? Ang rule is that we will capitalize only if it's directly followed by the proper name. Very important yung only na yan. Okay. So, sa Tagalog, pag sinabing capitalize only if it's directly followed by the proper name, ikakapitalize mo lang kung kasunod siya o sinusundan siya nung pangalan ng tao itself. So, ano ba itong mga title na to? Senator, doctor, president, um, we have yung uh, teacher, okay, yung mga ganyang classing titles, yung designation or position niya. Ika-capitalize mo lang kung sinusundan siya nung pangalan mismo nung tao. Now, if you notice right here, meron ditong job position or title, which is resident cardiologist. Pero, hindi siya sinusundan directly nung pangalan nung resident cardiologist. So, kung hindi siya silusundan directly, ibig sabihin hindi natin siya kailangan i-capitalize. Okay na yan na small letters. Okay? Pero itong doctor, if you notice, silusundan siya nung Martinez, which is yung kanyang proper name or last name niya yan. Ibig sabihin yung D na yan, dapat capital siya. Okay? So, yan na yung ating mga i-capitalize. Now, yung grandma, hindi naman siya necessarily job position. Okay? But there is another rule that we have to be careful about, which is you, pagdating sa family relationships or nicknames or pet names, you have to capitalize it if it's used to address the person or bilang nickname niya. Now, anong ibig sabihin nito? Now, yung grandma, alam natin na pag pinahaba ko yan, yan ay grandmother. Ang grandmother is a family relationship yan tawag natin sa lola natin, pero hindi ibig sabihin nito ay every time you see the word grandmother, ikakapitalize mo yung G. 
kailan mo lang siya ikakapitalize? Ikakapitalize mo siya kung yun ang ginamit mo to call the person. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin kunyari na, o siya ang lola ko, okay? Siya ang lola ko, small letter L yon lola. Kasi, yung lola is just a relationship. Yung parang ano lang, okay? Yun talaga yung position niya. Yun yung, yun yung relationship ko sa kanya. Pero pag, tina- pag, pag ginamit ko yung sentence na, Lola, papunta na ako. Dahil tinatawag ko siyang Lola, okay, at uh, kausap ko siya, yung, yung tawag na Lola, it becomes capital. Bakit? Kasi yun yung pinantatawag ko sa kanya. It becomes a name. I'm using it to address the person. Hindi ko na lang siya kinukwento, kausap ko siya. Okay? O, nandito na po si Lola. Okay? Yung Lola... Dahil si Lola ang ginamit ko, ibig sabihin yun ang tawag ko sa kanya, ina-address ko siya, it becomes a form of a nickname or something like that, then capital siya. Pero pag sinabi ko na, uh, nandito na ba ang Lola? Okay. Nandito na ba ang Lola mo? Okay. Hindi ko siya tawag na Lola. Yung Lola is just yung grandmother na word, simple word like this. Hindi ko siya kailangan i-capitalize. Now, dito sa sentence na ito, sabi dito, took good care of grandma. So, yung grandma, again, the first clue is that hindi niya sinabing buo yung grandmother. So, ibig sabihin yung grandma is kind of yung pet name, nickname, or the way na tinatawag nung speaker yung kanyang grandmother. Yung specific person na yan. So, ito, kailangan tong i-capitalize. So, the sentence would end up looking like this. I told Joey Jimenez, again, capital kasi pangalan yan, Uh, the resident cardiologist, hindi kailangan i-capitalize kasi walang kasunod na pangalan. Dr. Martinez, ito, kailangan i-capitalize kasi may kasunod na pangalan. And then yung Martinez is a name, so you have to capitalize it. Took good care of grandma. Kasi si grandma, ito yung tawag natin sa specific lola natin. Now, if in case the sentence looks like this, took good care of my grandmother, pwede siyang small letter. Okay? Kasi yung grandmother na yan, it becomes yung ano lang, designation ng tao at hindi yung kanyang tawag. Hindi siya nagiging name ng tao. Okay? So, etong part na to yung medyo tricky. So, you have to be careful with that, lalo na sa sentence correction questions sa exams. Baka hindi nyo mapansin na kailangan pala i-capitalize or hindi pala kailangan nakakapitalize yung isang word. Okay? Now, let's try yung hand din nyo sa uh, quick quiz na ito. Again, same as yung quiz natin last week. You're going to spot kung anong mga words ang kailangan i-capitalize and i-correct nyo siya. Okay? I'll give you time. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So ito yung ating passage. Sabi, most people call me Coach Laika, but my real name is Angelique Maravilla. Let's start with that first sentence. Now, applying din yung rules from yung last week, alam natin na dahil ito ay may period, ito ay buong sentence, I have to capitalize this. So, capital yung M na yan. Tapos, most people call me Coach Laika. The question would be, ikakapitalize ko ba yung C? Now, alam natin yung Laika is my name, so dapat yan, capital L. And dahil yung coach na to ay designation, position ng mismong Laika na person, at kasunod siya directly, then I have to also capitalize the C. Okay? Now, but my real name is Angelique Maravilla. So, Angelique Maravilla is also going to be capital A yan, ito, capital M, kasi proper name yan. Next sentence, sabi, my sisters, Abigail and Angela, have their own channels. I see a period right here again. Okay, at dahil may period yan, capital dapat, ito. And then, yung pangalan ni Abigail and Angela, parehong yung proper names. So, kakapitalize natin yan. Have their own channels. Okay na yun. Next, I find the videos created by Angela, a teacher in Japan, very relaxing. Again, you have a period right here, which means ito ay capital. And a quick little side note, yung I na pronoun na ginagamit natin, always yan na capital. Whether nasa simula siya ng sentence or nasa gitna, yung I is always capital. Next, I find the videos created by Angela. Again, that is a name. So, capital ito. A teacher in Japan. Now, the question would be, yung teacher na to, since ito ay position, ikakapitalize ko ba siya? Now, you would notice, hindi naman siya sinusundan ng pangalan. So, kung kunyan na nakalagay teacher jana ikakapitalize ko siya. Pero dahil hindi, ibig sabihin, I will leave it as that. Next, sabi, on the other hand, Coach Chubby's videos are funny and fast-paced. You have a period right here, which means, kakapitalize ko yung O. On the other hand, Coach Chubby. Okay, so ito yung, if you're not aware, uh, this is real. My sisters have their own channels. Ilalink ko na lang din sa taas if you want to go and check those out. Coach Chubby is my sister. Ika-cancel natin ito. Kakambal ko siya actually. So, kung nanonood kayo ng videos niya, you would notice na magkahawig kami. At yun ang tawag niya sa sarili niya sa kanyang channel. So, kakapitalize ko rin yan. Coach Chubby's videos are funny and fast-paced. Next, we're still trying to convince our aunt to start her own channel. So, period right here means capital to. We're still trying to convince our aunt. No, yung aunt here, ikakapitalize ko ba siya? Okay. Now, ang sabi dito, yung aming tia, hindi ko siya tinatawag na, na aunt, walang name na kasunod. Hindi rin siya used to address the person. Sinasabi lang natin, namin na, ay, oh, kung na-convince namin yung tita namin na gumawa ng video. So, yung aunt na to, hindi kailangan niyan i-capitalize. Okay na siya na ganyan. Tapos, next, she said that will only happen if mom starts her own channel too. Again, you have a period right here, which means... Capital dapat itong S na she. She said that will only happen if mom starts her own channel too. Okay. Ito munang quote na yan. Sabi natin, di ba, last week, kapag buong sentence yung quote, ikakapitalize natin yung first letter. So, the question would be, that will only happen if mom starts her own channel too. Is it a full sentence? Yes. So, ibig sabihin, capital din dapat tong T na to. So, just in case na waglit nyo yan, pwede nyo balikan yung first video sa series na ito after this uh, video, okay? Now, etong mom, okay, nakalagay, di ba, if, if mom starts her own channel too. So, sa ang sabi niya, kung si nanay, okay, hindi niya sabi na yung kung nanay ko, kasi ang nakalagay, if mom, hindi if my mom. So, yung mom becomes a nickname, so ito ay kakapitalize natin, if mom starts her own channel too. Now, after all of these, there's actually something that you may have missed, which is yung Japan. Dapat actually capital din to. So, just, just a bit of a bonus and a bit of a clue din sa susunod nating lesson. So, again, abangan nyo yung susunod nating lesson. Next time, we're going to talk about geography naman. Uh, ano yung mga ikakapitalize uh, when it comes to landmarks, languages, and stuff like that. Etong Japan na yan, dapat capital yan. Okay? So, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. Bawi na lang sa susunod. And again, I'll be posting more on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla for more quick quizzes. Uh, you can check out my Instagram stories. Doon ko post yung mga quick quiz ko. It's a great way for me to know kung anong lessons na kailangan ko i-prioritize. And a good way din for you to know if natututo talaga kayo. So, I'll see you online. Again, it's at Laika Maravilla on Instagram. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan 
Ryan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get reviewers, find out kung ano yung mga upcoming updates at free resources pa na ginagawa ko for you guys, you can check out my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. And subscribe na if you haven't yet, hit that bell. We have more videos coming up, lalo na yung mga ibang parts ng series na ito. So if you don't want to miss any of those, don't forget to hit that bell icon and turn yung inyong settings for no notifications for all updates. And make sure then that you have your notifications on para sa inyong phone. Thanks guys for watching. So we always see sa team na to, Never Stop Learning. Aja, aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.